It was an average day for Vance. He had no warning he was about to have a heart attack. Friends alerted 911, and Vance was sent to Valley Medical Center. Here's Vance's story. I was visiting with a friend of mine that I hadn't seen in probably 35 years, went out and had some lunch, and started to get what I thought was heartburn. And it was like, whoa, this is kind of hurting a little bit here. After about 10 or 15 minutes, realized that I wasn't just having heartburn, that I figured it must be a heart attack because I was starting to sweat really bad. I was in a lot of pain. It felt like there was a basketball inside my chest that was trying to get out. So I told him to call 911. They were there within five, less than 10 minutes. I knew I was going to Valley Medical Center. As they were wheeling me in, the medics were asking me to think of something that was very, very important to me. So immediately I just started thinking about my three sons. Um, when Vance came into the emergency room, he was experiencing an extensive anterior wall myocardial infarction. The front wall of his heart was not getting enough oxygen because the artery that supplies the front wall of his heart was totally blocked. When a person comes to the hospital with an artery that is totally blocked, causing a heart attack, we try to open the artery as soon as we possibly can. The best way of doing that is by doing a balloon angioplasty and stent procedure to attempt to restore the blood flow back through the artery again. The sooner that we can restore the blood flow, the more of the muscle that we can save, and hence the phrase, time is muscle. For Vance uh, and for most patients that come to the emergency room with a heart attack or myocardial infarction, we transfer them as quickly as possible from the emergency room to the cardiac catheterization laboratory where I can thread a catheter up from the artery in the leg up into the heart to try to open up the artery from the inside, first with either a catheter that can suck out the blood clot or with a balloon that can, can balloon open the, the blockage in the blood clot to then begin to allow blood to flow through the artery. Once we have gotten the artery open so the blood is starting to flow through it, then we generally would place a stent, which is a little metal tube within the artery. I had the, the heart attack around two in the afternoon and I know they were wheeling me into my room by 4.30. So the whole procedure was very fast. I got here so quick and they treated it so quick that there was very minimal heart damage. We have a great team in the cath lab. When a person comes to the lab, we have nurses that monitor the patients and administer drugs to keep them comfortable throughout the procedure. They have many years of experience. They do a great job getting patients in the lab, helping them feel comfortable while they're there, and really attending to all their needs to achieve as successful a procedure as possible. I think we've got a great crew. I was trained to do uh, balloon angioplasties at the University of Washington. Since coming to Valley Medical Center, I performed about 2,000 of these procedures, or about 100 to 150 procedures a year. I had no idea that Valley was so well known for their heart care or had a, a gym or a fitness program or a cardio rehab program. The nurses monitor you with a portable EKG to make sure that you aren't overworking your heart. And then they just monitor that over a three month period of time to step up your fitness level. Their program is individualized to their needs. We do a circuit training and they do both arm and leg exercises according to their history because after their cardiac event, they don't know how much to exercise and don't know their limits. And with us monitoring them, they don't overexert. They have support from other cardiac rehab members who have the same history. As a cardiac rehab nurse, we have a, a big impact on our clients. We see them, you know, three times a week for three months and they become like family. All of the staff here are very friendly, uh, easy to work with, uh, very informative on, on the things that they tell you to do and the reason why they want you to do that. Everything here, however, is top-notch, first class. All of the staff is incredibly friendly and helpful on everything that they do. And I was that typical 53-year-old male that didn't exercise, went out and golfed once in a while, um, ate a lot of junk foods, convenience foods, um, just had a lot of stress at work um, and just really didn't take care of myself. Prior to the heart attack, I had no symptoms, nothing that I was going to have a heart attack. I had been tired like probably a month prior to it happening, but just figured that it was probably from stress and 
a lot of work and things like that. But I had no chest pains, no, no, no nothing. I had no idea this was coming up until just boom, it hit. Life has changed dramatically. Um, I'm working out now five days a week, doing a lot of biking, a lot of cardio and weight training. When I got home from the hospital, I actually threw out all of the boxes and cans, went to all fresh foods, vegetables, chicken, fish, uh, whole grains, all of the things that they say makes you heart healthy. So I, and I've stuck to that this whole time. I've lost about 20 pounds so far. I've got three sons, Tyler is 23. Matthew's 20 and Jacob's 19. I'm very close to him, very proud of him. It's very important that I make sure that I tell them that I love them every time I see them because you just never know when is the next time you're going to see them. I feel better now than I've probably felt in 15 or 20 years. My outlook on life has totally changed. I don't sweat the small stuff anymore. I and those little things that may bother me, I pretty much just work out on my workouts now. So life is pretty good. I love my work as a cardiologist. Being able to provide care like this is extremely gratifying and rewarding. They saved my life. When seconds count, Valley Medical Center in Renton. Remarkable things happen here.